Welcome back. So notice I've not made any changes to the program at all because of the layering. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's try and run this because I need to make sure that we actually can run this. So the program is up and running and again I can list all my customer. By the way someone asked me where do these actually come from and um, if we go into the code and we have a look inside the UI I'm actually creating them inside the UI. So they're not being injected anywhere or anything cool yet. We'll do that later where we'll try and use uh, a way for us to actually create some default data inside the database. But that will be all the way down the data access layer, not here in the UI. So as soon as my application starts, it just adds to customer just to kind of test the functionality that I have available. So that's kind of where it's coming from. So back to the Axel console app. Um, we can add a customer just like we could before. Uh, we need to select one here. We need to select add customer. We'll add him first name, Bob and Bilbo11. And we'll do a list all cutman there. Bob Bilbo is back. But we cannot edit yet. And that's kind of what we want to work with uh, soon. So we want to edit customer with the ID of one. We're going to have one, two, three. And we'll do a list. And notice Bob Dylan is still here. He wasn't edited. Right? So there's a problem that we didn't fix. We'll go and fix that now. We'll go and fix that now. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know the program is still running. And uh, we're back to the state where the edit still, the, or this update still doesn't work but our program is still running. I noticed I did not change anything in the UI, but the program didn't care because it just works because we're working so, our, our layers is saving us. And it would mean if this was a company and we would sit five developers on this assignment right here, then developer one, he would be sitting taking care of the data access layer maybe and taking care of using the contracts. He would say, okay, man, I just created a new repository for you. So now you can actually go and grab products. And we're going to do that later. The business logic there man could say I'm busy right now but just fix it up, get ready and let me know when it's completely done and then I'll start using it in my layer. Okay, when that is ready, the UI guy can say okay business logic guy are you done? Yeah I am, sweet. I'll go and grab the new I product service and start using that. Notice we're completely independent of each other meaning that we won't make merge conflicts, we won't do a lot of, um, we won't make our lives miserable because we actually made layers. So that's why this is important when we start working on bigger, bigger applications in Teams. See you next time.